I am a big fan of the Dragon Testicles as I watched it as a child. The only way to enjoy this slot without being born with the status ailment of black. And I grew up playing Budokai and Budokai with another word before it. I was slightly interested in Sparking Zero as I refused to be excited for modern releases and it's a shit name. However, the slight interest was swiftly executed in a way to make Vlad the Impaler blush when I saw it was being developed by Spick Chunsoft. I, I said Spike, right? For the no one who knows this company's work, they make the severely homosexual Danganronpa VNs and some of their non-VN works include One Piece Burning Blood, One Punch Man, A Hero Nobody Knows, Jump Force 2020, be great if you could get the year right you stupid fucking fag and you don't seem to understand and my personal favourite Dragon Ball Z for Connect. Ideally, the game will be so shit Toriyama rises from the grave with his cording socks on to reboot the series again. But the more likely outcome is it will be generic slop 30 year old negros so you out to. So let's go back to a better time. This game is lauded for having the biggest roster of a staggering... 161. This is a lie. It isn't true. It has 161 reskins. Tell me a single unique move this guy has. He doesn't have one. Saying this game has 161 characters is like saying Tekken 5 has over a billion because I can put a Pepsi on King's head making him a new character. In fact, let's look at some of these unique characters. Goku Early, Goku Mid, Goku Mid Super Saiyan, Goku End, Goku End Super Saiyan, Goku End Super Saiyan 2, Goku End Super Saiyan 3, Goku GT, Goku GT Super Saiyan, Goku GT Super Saiyan 3, Goku Super Saiyan 4, Kid Goku, Kid Goku Monkey, Kid Goku 2, Kid Goku 2 Super Saiyan, Goku with Scar, N <laughs> <laughs> Akira Toriyama is described by many as a revolutionary, a master in storytelling, one of the greatest character designers of all time. I would describe him as a paedophile. But much like Yandere Dev, I will forgive him for this transgression of child rape because he hates Vegeta, which is the objectively correct opinion. He has the same story every arc and his character is just a lazy copy paste of Piccolo, who himself is a lazy copy paste of Tien, who himself is a lazy copy paste of Yamcha. Because this fucker can't write a unique character to save his life, proven by the fact that his life is gone. The game is balanced by Japanese people, so not balanced. Which is how games should be, because I'm playing a video game, not competitive sports. Life isn't even balanced. What chance did this little fellow have? Is he gonna be an NBA star? No. So Norm's gonna be in the shit tier in the game, because he shits in the streets. Some characters are actively shit on via their own move names. However, they did give some of the highest tier characters some weaknesses, like Broly. In the game, you can gather Dragon Balls, so in order to beat Broly, you need to pick the hue shifted Africa stage and summon Purungami. This gives you free, canon free, wishes. So to beat Broly, you simply wish for a lawyer, a GoFundMe, and crack. Now Broly is facing a lawsuit and can never work in his preferred field ever again. The game starts with most characters unlocked, which is great, because you unlock the rest via a means of torture I wouldn't wish on apricot fruit. Running into buildings repeatedly, constantly backing out of menus to get the specific tournament and difficulty that unlocks the character, then the game giving you Kui in the hell bracket, to which I proceeded to fell everyone. Bigger. Not due to skill, but so I could lose to Yomcha at the end. Fuck you, I'm not unlocking Fasha. Who even is this bitch? But my favourite way to unlock Bozos is the story mode. The story mode is fucking awful. It cements this game as a real fighting game. Subspace Emissary? Kino. Therefore Smash is a party game. This shit? A fucking awful. So this is a real fighting game. Take the end of GT, the culmination of the series, until money. You play as a lolly Goku against the funny Dragon Man. You run around, press the stick, cutscene. Run around, press the stick, 
cutscene. Run around, press the stick, you win. It doesn't have the charm of the original Budokai, and is the biggest step down I have ever seen from a sequel. In Tenkaichi 2, you could roam around, find different events and recruit characters, there were even tag team fights! You could run a train on Videl! This is the same shit over and over, and they clearly just gave up. Take the Boo Saga, the end of Z, big boy time, first fight, Goku Vegeta. You may notice something there, we'll go over that at the end. Next, Vegeta Boo. Next, Vegito Boo. You may have noticed a lot there. Next, Goku Kid Boo. And finally, Goku Kid Boo again, but he wins this time. So let's play a game of in the game, not in the arc. Spopovich, Videl, Babidi, Dabura, Evil Boo, two other versions of Boo, Supreme Kai, Kabito Shin, is that that retard's actual name? He sounds like a victim of paedophilia. Piccolo, Goten, Trunks, Gotenks, and can you guess the final boy? Gohan. Gohan isn't in the Boo arc. It's his fucking arc. Until Akira said, fuck you Lamau, it was all about him. Goku was dead and Vegeta converted to Islam at the start. The entire arc was headed by Gohan and he never even shows up. There's anime game story butchering and then there's this shit. You dragged it to the slaughterhouse kicking and screaming and there was no even further beyond this time. It was the final scree they would ever utter. But fighting game. The real shit is the funny intro. You have canonically the strongest being of all time and Gogeta fighting each other. So what do they do? Footsies. Are they going to play hanky panky under the table next, the pair of big old homos? But you may know that a game has more to it than an intro. However, the game's kind of fucked because it only has local split screen and it's been a smooth 17 years. This game was made in a pre-homo marriage world and it shows because they are desperately expressing themselves through severe faggotry within the characters. You've been waiting a while for this, you stupid cuck. <laughs> Was it worth it? There is one singular good game mode, a mode so keen on, it has four shitty imitators in the same screen, but I don't care to dwell on it, since it's all anyone talks about, when there is pure Kino hidden just above it. The ultimate battle. Here is the Sim Dragon mode. Is it good? No. It's abhorrent, a crime against the senses, but is it peak Japanese mumbo jumbo? Absolutely. You train stats and go on choose your own adventures before the clock ticks down and he comes. You act like white niggers. You repeat this forever I guess, I don't know how to describe this nuke brain retardation, but it is the best feature to ever grace the virtual medium. Much like this game was the personal 9-11 of anime games. The gameplay was so good yet unique, it started a genre, the anime arena fighter, also known as Cancer. There has yet to be a single good anime arena fighter, fuck you Mexican child, Naruto is shit, and the worst of the worst lies in the hands of creation known as Spick Chunsoft. They are finally here to kill the genre for good, and I pray they succeed. Or that the game's actually good, I'd, I'd like that.